Mike. Hello. As you know, I'm headed off um, with the Grand Tour. So yeah, big trip. Yeah, I'm very excited. So I'll be gone for a few weeks. Thing is, while I'm gone, Izzy's been talking to me about she's moving to London. Mm-hmm. And she's quite like a new car. Which, fair enough. Yes, yeah, she's going to be doing a lot of miles. Yeah, she's in an E-class just now. Yeah, Correct. and it's lovely. Mm-hmm. Frankly, ten times better than any car I had anywhere near her age. But fair enough. Okay. She quite likes something else because she wants to be able to cover big distances in it. She'll have her own opinions of what she wants, but that's maybe the problem. Yeah, London brings a lot to the table. Yeah. yeah. See, you're thinking already. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if we can fire up your expertise as well. I've told her about this. I've said okay. that you you talk to her about it and help her. Key points are budget, absolute max 25, 20, but that's still a lot of money. Okay, 20, 25, that's in there. Yeah. Don't, can't, she can't go beyond that. Performance, nothing silly. Okay, so just chill, you yeah. know, a nice little get about, but nothing too mental. Practical, can cover the big miles to and from London, that sort of thing. Max budget, 25, not too fast. Okay, cool. Sounds easy enough. You can handle that? Yeah. Of course you can handle that. All right, I've, I've told her this, that she's going to talk to you. Okay, cool. All right, good luck. Enjoy Africa. Don't let me down. Izzy, I've brought you a car. What do you make of it? Yeah, okay. Have you ever had a go in a Tesla before? No. I'm they kind are, of nervous. They're pretty special vehicles, I must say. But yeah, what do you think? First impressions. First impressions. Okay, let me have a think. It looks um, angry. Good. It I think looks, that's good. It looks sort of a little bit intimidating, not mm-hmm. going to lie. Doesn't scream Herefordshire. Sure. But that's okay, we can work I've with that. I've seen some kicking around today, actually. I went down to Morrison's okay. earlier. I saw one kicking around. So, you know, you'll be in some good company. Okay. But um, this is a pretty serious piece of kit, and I gather you're off to London, and we'll get to that later. Yeah. I think this will be absolutely perfect for it. Um, but yeah, I guess it needs to tick some boxes here. Definitely. So do you have some stuff in mind? Yeah. I'm just thinking what we can do. I'm just thinking what I would normally do. Exactly. On my sort of day-to-day. It needs to fit right into your life. Okay. Well, it's got to go up and down the track. Yes. Probably needs to do errands, hay bales. We need a lot of hay at the moment. Okay, I'm liking this. See if we can put a hay bale in it. Um, also this. This is a big one. This archway situation. I've been through this a few times in some big cars and it's quite scary. Yeah. Um, okay, so first things first, can it get through the ball of tree arch? Yeah, okay. Right. That's a bit well, scary. Get behind the wheel, let's okay, see. Okay, let's do it. The sponsor of today's video, Hankook, has supplied us with a brand new set of tyres and these are their EV specific ION tyres. You may think that tyres are tyres, whether they're on an internal combustion car or an EV, but these things have been specially engineered to deal with the challenges that an EV brings to the table. For example, these tyres feature Hankook's Grip Boost technology, which means the tread pattern has an extended shoulder that can increase tyre rigidity by 20%. That comes in really handy when going into a corner in a car that weighs as much as an EV. To make sure your EV is travelling down the road as efficiently as possible and therefore maximising your range, these tyres are optimised for low rolling resistance, which means they take as little energy as possible to overcome the friction between the tarmac and the rubber when driving. Because there's no internal combustion engine noise, EVs can seem to have quite a lot of road noise, it can seem really loud. So these EV tyres have polyurethane foam integrated into the inner wall to contain and absorb some of that rolling sound. If Izzy goes for a Model 3 with these tyres, she won't have to replace them as much as some of their competitors, as they contain Hankook's Pro Durable compound that spreads the pressure acting on the tyre across the contact patch, meaning they don't wear down as quickly. If she drives as quickly as her dad, that could come in handy. The specific tyres on this car are the Ion Icept winter tyres that will be perfect in the Herefordshire countryside when it gets cold, wet and icy. They will provide improved grip and handling in the snow and in the wet. It also has a different aerodynamic profile compared to its competitors, which means it cuts through the air more cleanly. Yes, that's right, these tyres have aero. Kind of cool. Okay, so Izzy, (laughs) first things first, this has something called one pedal driving, right? So right. it's on the throttle. So I completely gently. come off the brake and it's yeah, not yeah. gonna move. Yeah, it's not gonna move. Yeah, and then on the throttle, oh, just ah, 
and then just let go. Oh my gosh. Oh See my how gosh. it came to a stop? Okay. So basically, the second you come off the throttle, it automatically applies the brakes. Right. Which is called one pedal driving, which means it will it will bring you to a stop from 70 miles an hour if you just lift it off. Didn't touch the brakes. So then what's the brake for? For when you really need to brake. Oh, when you really got to stop. <laughs> Hopefully okay. there's not too much of that today, but <laughs> let's head towards the archway okay. and you'll see, see on this little bit of the screen, oh. it's like detecting stuff. So it already detects the van over there. Okay. It detects the cameraman, you saw him for a second. Yeah. And then when you get close, it'll show you how close those pillars are. I'm going one mile an hour. <laughs> And, and that's my that's my top what speed. What speed would right you now. normally go through here in 20? a discovery? <laughs> Just okay. smash straight through. Okay. Ah! Right. So see see how it's showing you. Okay. How close that is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Absolutely perfect. So it got it's red and amber, and it will show you how close you are. So it's saying you're slightly closer on the right than you are on the left. Right. I'm just gonna put a little bit of left in. Yeah, it's oh giving God, you it's all the beeps. Screaming at me. I'm so sorry, Mr. Tesla. I'm trying my best. It's just keeping you safe. Yeah. Look at that. Easy. Okay. And are you feeling when you come off the throttle? It yeah. really like pulls you back? Yeah. Okay. That was easy. That was literally a piece of cake. That is test one passed. Okay. Cool. What's next? Um, let's go to the track. Okay. I have to say, I have never off-roaded a Tesla, but the ground clearance looks okay. So I, I think, think it's going to be, gonna be I think it's going to be so fine. Right, swinging in. Yeah, we're going to turn down here. We are officially off-roading in a Tesla. Tell you what, it's quite comfy. It's kind of That's fine. gliding over there. It is. It's literally mm. floating across. <laughs> Wow. Are there any ruts we need to be aware of? Yeah, I was of, just kind of thinking you, that. Are you just going for it? I'm just going to go for I it. I mean, that I bit looked pretty dodgy and that was just, yeah. I actually swallowed that up. It doesn't really feel like we're going across a field. And it's four wheel drive. Is it? Yes. Ooh. So that's what you want. This is doable. Yeah. You I, could, I can do this. You could service the horses or whatever you call it with this. So I can service the horses. Fantastic. <laughs> What more could I want? Okay, so what's in here? What's okay, in this shed? Okay, so this is hay. Okay. That we need to bring down to the stables when we run out at the stables. We, we bring okay. it from here. Okay, well let's see what we can do. So, we're going to try and fit one of them in this car. Back seat or boot? Let's try the boot. Right, I'll, I'll open the boot. You right. open the shed. Okay. Our Tesla PR going to be very annoyed if we... Um, how hay is this going to get? It's, it's going to be a lot of hay, I'm not okay. going to lie. Okay. Okay. Right, this is... Oh, wow. um, That's yeah. a lot of hay. Yeah, there is a lot of hay. Let's see how big they are. Okay, I'm just going to let it drop. Yeah. Right, I'm going to leave you in charge of the carrying of the hay bale. Okay. That's your job. I'm going to supervise. That can be my Is that job. So I get that's the weirdest way all over myself. I've ever seen anyone pick up a hay I'm not rural, is he? I know, I'm I know. Right, so am I just launching but this baby in? Should we move in? these important things out of the way? I think that's a first aid kit, so yeah, get rid of that. Let's get these out of the way. That's so fancy, isn't it? Okay, we'll pop them down. I think we're going to get a few in here. Okay, we'll whack her in. Let's yeah. see what we can do. Look at that. Yeah, perfect. I mean, I said a few. Yeah, one. it's going to be one, but that's fine. <laughs> Is there such a thing as a half bale? I reckon that would slot right no, in there. No, because then you've got to... No, we can't do that. And we've got one in. Well, I think that... Is that another pass? I, I'm guessing that's not the most efficient way to... No, but let's say we're in a rush. I'm in the car. Yeah. I'm coming down the track. Hungry horse. Mindy's gone, emergency, get the hay. Not a problem. Straight in. In. Yeah. Leave the first aid kit. Well, in fact, no, that'll go in, that'll yeah. go in. Probably Just in case it. you have some incident along the way to the horses. Okay. Close her down. Look at that. And she's happy. Beautiful. Okay. Two tests, two passes. Yeah, she's doing pretty well. She could, she could live in Herefordshire, I think. It's looking good. Good. Shall we head out on the road then? Okay. I think you're going to really like this car. Okay. So, you know, you reacted to how, what the car looked like, how you felt just looking at it. Now that yes. you're buying the wheel, what's going through your mind? Um, doesn't feel as 
alien as I thought it was going to feel. Like okay. I, d it, it looks like a spaceship. So I was, I was assuming it was going to feel like I was operating a spaceship, and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. The braking thing is weird, but I think I could get used to it. But it's for me, it's it's very smooth because yeah. you're not jumping between pedals. Yeah. So you're just peeling off. Yeah, but it's like training yourself to peel off. Yes. Otherwise, if I was in my car, I'd just be like... Wah, wah, wah. Well, yeah, and it becomes kind of like a game. Because yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. where do I need to yeah, peel off to like... perfectly judge it? But I, I must say, I think the Model 3 drives really nicely. It's re yeah, it is really nice to drive. I, do, I don't want to say it's nicer to drive than my Mercedes. I don't, okay. don't want to say that, but... You might be thinking I'm, it. I, yeah, a tiny <laughs> bit of me might be thinking that, and I'm so sorry my poor Mercedes. And where do you stand? Like, it's super minimalistic in here. Yeah. Are you liking that? Or are you like, where's all my buttons? No, see, I love it. I really like it. Because, I mean, obviously, this just has literally everything on it. Yes. The only thing was I was, like, looking for my, like, speedo, but it's there. It's but right there. Right that right. doesn't feel too much of, like, a weird no? jump to look at. And what's really cool, well, it's a bit nerdy, see how there's, like, a line? Yeah. That, and if you come off the throttle, see how it's suddenly gone green? Whoa! That is basically you using battery, and then when you peel off, that is the, the braking feeding energy back into the battery. So imagine if you came off the brakes in your Mercedes and like petrol was being put into the fuel tank. That's oh what's gosh. happening there. That would be pretty cool. That would be so cool. So the context of this car as well, I chose this to test with you because I gather you're moving to London. Yes. So that, that's quite a big deal. Hereford to London. Yeah, yeah, it's a big change. It so what's going change. on there? So you've just graduated? Yeah, finish uni and then just heading down to the big smoke mm -hmm. to do some work, be an adult, run away from the country bumpkin lifestyle. Okay. Even though I love it. And currently, would the Mercedes be going with you? Yes. Okay. It will indeed. See, I think a Tesla could be the perfect London car because there'll be loads of electric charging around you. Yeah, that's so true. In terms of having to nip around buses and mm. get away from dodgy moped people, it's <laughs> super quick. It's yeah. got all the safety systems, so parking's much easier. And, you know, the, the audience will have seen you now on the channel a couple of times and maybe doing more stuff with Richard in mm. the future. What, what content do you consume? Are you a YouTube person? Ooh. Are you a TikTok? Like, what? where do you stand in media these days? Ooh, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. I used to definitely be a big YouTube lover. Okay. When I was sort of like... What kind of stuff? 14, 15. The year classic, like, like the Sidemen, that okay. kind of thing. Cool. All their challenges and stuff. Richard did something with them recently. I saw that. was cool. That, that was cool. I saw that. And he said that to me, just, I think we were literally just in the car and he was like, oh, I did something with a Sidemen the other day. We've got a video from Richard Hammond. Hey guys, Richard Hammond from the Drive Tribe YouTube channel here. Mm -hmm. I was like, Richard, that's actually quite a big deal. Like, yeah, that's yeah, actually yeah. quite cool. Pretty much as big as it gets. Yeah, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, just like a little <laughs> intro. And I was like, no, like, wow, well done. Like, that's great. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say that I love, because I'm big into my F1. So yep. I quite like watching the F1 channel, like when the drivers do all their like, um, like in the break when they do all their like driver challenges. Any and specific stuff. drivers that? You know, there's a few, there's a few that are my favourites. Um, I love them all. Okay. I love them all. I couldn't possibly say who's my top, but I'm a Red Bull fan like yourself. Good, good. Um, you were at Silverstone with them I this was, year. I was, yes. Yeah, that looked good. Best day of my life. Good. Best day of my entire life. You met Christian. I can't even talk about it. I like, literally <laughs> can't even talk about it. I didn't meet Christian. So, um, YouTube stuff you're watching these days, or you don't really watch YouTube these days? I'd say I watch like a, a few F1 y bits. Yeah, and then it's Drive Tribe, obviously. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, what next? My favourite channel. Golf content coming yeah, soon. Yeah, coming soon. Um, yeah, but other than that, I've got to say I am a TikTok fan. You're a TikTok fan. I know. Wow. Are you I a TikToker know. yourself? No, I don't I don't partake, but I do I had to actually delete the app when I was writing my dissertation because it's oh, so God. You were it's, flicking. It's the TikTok hole. Like I just once you're in it, you're in it, and I'd be an hour 
Oh, wow. And then I was like, oh God, I've done nothing. And is it, do you follow specific TikTokers or is it just no. you let wash over I you? I like... let the algorithm take over. Wow. Let it do its thing. Yeah. That is dangerous. I know. And I've just seen you be reeling. Oh my now, gosh. You, you've exposed this to me because yes. I've, I've not delved into that at all. Okay, yeah. The world of be real is excellent. I love it. I'm enjoying it. Mean, you're obviously an incredibly confident driver. I do enjoy your hand placement on the steering wheel. You've got some ninja, you, you alternate it. This is a new one. This is what, yeah. This sort of like index yeah. finger hold. We've also- it's, um, It is rich. It's from it's from my dad, 100%. And then I've also seen, as you say, what, what your dad, yes. That's, that the is fingers Richard. Out. That is a Richard Hammond special, that is. <laughs> Little bit of that around the corner. Favorite sound from any engine, straight six. Would you class yourself as a petrol head? Because you've obviously got the pedigree mm, in the family. Yes, I Are do. Are you into cars? See, I get asked this question quite a bit. Mm -hmm. mm, I'd say up until last year, would not classify myself as a petrol head at all. Probably like violently the opposite. Oh, wow. Just, just okay. not, in a, not in a bad way, just in like, because obviously it's, in my head, it's always just been Rich's job. Yeah. That's kind of, it's that's just how I would think of it. So okay. I just never really considered it something that I'd be interested in. So like cool cars coming into the courtyard, you were like, it's just, I just don't, I just, in my head, it's like, oh, daddy's working. Okay. Like whatever. Yeah, Whereas now, like over the last sort of couple of years, because I've been driving for like five or six years now, mm -hmm. and I, I've always enjoyed the physicality, like the process of driving. I can tell you're a good driver. <sighs> What? You've been chatting away Stop and you've been absolutely between the lines, Whoa. threading it. Whoa. Very good. Stop it. I mean, I haven't crashed it, touch wood. <laughs> um, yeah, but now I think obviously I've started watching Formula One, which is kind yep. of cars to the extreme. Mm -hmm. But being really like interested in how they work. Like I was having a conversation with Daddy about it the other day. Obviously I love with F1, like the drivers, the gossip, yep. love all that. But then also the cars and like really intrigued into how they actually work. And then when I started thinking about the F1 cars, I was like, oh my God, I don't even know how my car works. Sure. Like I just get in it and I just press the pedals and then move the wheel. And now I'm a bit more like, okay, kind of interested in how it all kind of fits together. That's really cool. So you're, you're kind of like learning to become a better Yeah, head. I'm getting there. And now I can see a car and I'm like, I like that. Okay, And good. I can also see a car and be like, I don't like that. And I know why I don't like it. So do you think going forward, you are really going to start caring about your car choices? Because where, yeah. where did the A-Class come from? Where, where so, did that come in? So I started with a Mini, um, okay. like a little Mini Cooper. Yep. Convertible, obviously. Solid choice. Yeah, she was she was great. Um, got did, the, the, did the roof leak? Or was it um, fairly solid? Didn't leak, but did go kind of mold. Really? Yeah, classic. Okay. Yeah, which wasn't great, but that's fine. Um, and then basically, I had that all through like sick form. And when I went to uni, I went to Bristol, which is like an hour's drive from here. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was going back and forward a lot. And I was like, I cannot fit anything in it. And I was going to be doing a lot of motorway driving. So daddy said, let's do it. Let's get you a new one. Okay. And I was like, okay. it's a good upgrade. An A class is a lovely car. It's. Yeah, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> that was so quick! There you go. And also, that was professional. You literally stopped at 60, at 60. miles an hour. Bloody hell. That was quick. That was quick. <laughs> that was quick. That's like not much slower than a Formula One car. So, so Lando so off the line. So you're telling me I am basically a Formula One <laughs> you driver. You could almost match Lando not to 60. Yeah. It does not to 60 in 3.1 seconds. I don't know if that means anything to you, but that that, that is mean, quick. Uh, what do you think my car does? Oh, seven. Really? I reckon this is twice as quick to 60. So imagine you're going for an overtake, in, especially on oh the country gosh. lanes. You'll <laughs> be gone. I will be gone. No, I do like it. I'm kind of surprised how much I like it. Good, good. I'm, I feel like I've chosen half decently then. Yeah. If you were like, oh, this is just a mobile phone on wheels, it's a load of rubbish. No, I was, I was, I was skeptical. Well, like when when I saw it was a Tesla, I was like, mm -hmm. and around Herefordshire as well. That's that's rogue, but it's kind of fitting in fine. Well, I mean, genuinely, should we 
phone up Tesla after this and get, like, are you are you gonna have a word? bail on the Mac? Shall I have a word? Because I know you love your Mercedes. I don't want to force you into. I a, know, and I feel like I'm cheating on her. Well, like I feel so bad. But. But I kind of like this. It is pretty nice. It's kind of great. It's pretty nice. I feel, I don't want to big myself up, but I feel I've done quite a good job today. You have, I am actually quite, well, when I first saw it, when you first saw you drive in, I was a little bit sceptical. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I think I'm converted. I think I like the Tesla. I said it. I genuinely can see you kicking about Fulham. I think giving I can a bit see of myself palm. doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I like it. I like it, and it's not too out of place in Herefordshire. Okay, so you are happy to just say goodbye to the class. Okay, okay, well, I don't know if I want to say goodbye to her yet. So we've now, you're now collecting cars at this yeah. point. So now you're becoming a petrolhead. Yeah, so maybe I could have like one for home, one for I London. I like it, I like it, I like it. Like Tesla that. in London, Merc at home, yeah. best of both worlds. Yeah, okay, well, if you agree, then you can come with me and we can pitch it to Daddy. Okay, so this, uh, right, so the, the real crux of this is it has to all go through Richard. Well, yeah. Basically, I've cost Richard nigh on 60 grand yeah. if you go for this. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just money. It's nothing. You know, what, exactly. what are we saying? Okay. He loves cars. That's a car. I'm, yep. not, seeing, I'm not seeing the issue. Good. Well, okay, perfect. good luck with your, your move to London. Thank you so much. I hope that all goes well. Thanks. And um, this long is too softly, so yeah, let's get let's tucked in. Yeah, let's dig in, let's do it. Again, a massive thank you to Hankook for sponsoring today's video. We had a really enjoyable drive using the Ion Icept winter tires. If you own an EV, these things are tailor-made for the job. And if you live somewhere that gets wet and icy, now that we're in the winter months, to maximize grip and safety, definitely check out the Ion Icept winter tires. It was great having Izzy back on the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe.